Hi everyone, Miss Alessandra here from the Weston Public Library. We're going to do another Maker Monday at home, um, and today we are going to do a marble maze or a marble run or a marble labyrinth, whatever you would like to call it. Um, and I'm going to show you the supplies that you will need to do this. All right. So first thing is to find some type of a cardboard box. Um, any size is okay. Shoe boxes work great. You could do small. You could do a shoe box size. Um, I'm going to actually use this big one. And then you're going to need some paper or plastic straws. We're going to be cutting them. So you need scissors, a ruler, tape, or glue. And then we can also use um, some types of bottle caps that will make it a little more fun to add into the marble run. So bottle caps, water bottle caps, soda bottle caps, whatever you have. I just have a couple of them. And then to test it, we need a marble. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. Okay, so our first step is to mark out how we want our maze to look inside of our box. So I have my large box here. I'm going to use a pencil. You can use a pencil, a pen, marker, um, if you think you're not going to erase, just to map out where I'm going to be putting the straws to make the maze, okay? So that's all we're doing right now. I want my maze. That's my starting point. So that's start. I'm going to want a straw here and then I'm going to have it drop down here and hopefully I can do a little slope and have it drop another straight line across let's do another slope another straight line. It's going to drop down here. I'm going to put another straw over here in case it falls from the top all the way down. It would catch there. The middle is the drop point. Another line. My finish line is going to be there, so both ways, straws need to go. All right, so my thought process here is that I want my marble to start up here and to go straight across, drop down. Hopefully it will come down this diagonal and drop down to this straw line. This straw line will bring it down this way and drop down here to this straight straw line. And then drop down to this straw line where there's an empty hole right here, drop down. And then I will slope it so it goes down this way to my finish line. That's the hope. I also left a possibility that going from here, it's going to come down this straw, drop down, go the opposite way of what I want, and I left an opening there, there, and it will hit this straw, leading it to this middle hole again, drop down, and now it can go either way depending on how I slope my straw to get to that finish line. So. The first part is really just mapping out where you're going to put those straws so then you know how long or short to cut your straws. So that's part one. We're gonna move on to step two now, which after I put those lines in of showing where I'm going to put my straws for the maze, um, I went in and used my ruler to measure those lines so I know how long 
or how short I need to cut my straws. So part two is all about cutting your straws. Um, I would recommend using a ruler to cut your straws to make sure they are the length that you need them. Um, so my first line is seven inches. I'm going to use my ruler and measure seven inches on my straw. Okay. Fun fact, if you have these straws that have the accordion style top, from the bottom to the accordion style is seven inches. So that makes it easy for me. A lot of my measurements are seven inches. So I'm gonna cut that, put the extra aside. My next piece is three inches. So I'm gonna measure out three inches cut my straw. I have another seven inch and I'm just putting my extras to the side for now so I can possibly use them later. Next one is eight inches so that is going to be above the accordion part of my straw right above the accordion part. I have another five inch. inch. Three. There. Two five inch ones. And I'm just doing this as easy as possible, just measuring right up to the ruler to cut those out. Another five inch. Lots of five inches I have. two five and a half inch ones. Don't think any of these, yeah, these guys are a little too short, but we can use them for something later on. So two five and a half inch. Your measurements will be whatever you measure. Depends on the size of your box. All right. And that's it. So this is part two, just cutting out the straws. So there's all my straws cut out and we will get ready for part three. You are going to need tape for this. And I suggest using tape because if your marble maze does not work the way you want, you can simply take the tape off of the straws and replace them where you want to put them. We're on to step three, where we're going to be placing our straws onto our box where we have our measurements. Um, so I have my first line here, it's a seven inch. Um, so I'm gonna take my straw. As I said before, I suggest using tape to start. And I'm going to take a piece of tape, place my straw where it's going to go and tape that down like so okay all right i'm going to do that for each of these so my next one is three inches um i think this was my three inch piece Again, piece of tape, I'm just going to the line and 
taping it down. Next is another seven inch. This is where I have a slope. So I want it to go right under the piece before it so the marble will fall this way and go down. My next is a long one, it's an eight inch piece. Next is five inches. That's a longer piece. Five inches over here. Another five inch piece. So I'm not putting them directly on the line. I am doing slightly below the line um, so that the marble can fall onto that line. reason why you should use tape so that you can pull off and reposition if you need to. Okay, almost done here, getting to the end, eight inch piece. goal is down there. Okay, so that is my maze. I'm actually going to put in a couple extras. Like I said, I um, have a couple of bottle caps. These are fun things for the marble to try and get around. So I'm going to put one my larger one at the end here. So right there. And I will put another one. Let's see, where should it go? Let's put it here. So if the marble does go that way it will come and hit this hopefully moving it this way to finish the maze so if you have any bottle caps you can add them in to make it a little more fun now these mazes that you make um, you can do it standing upright like this um, vertically or you can put it down in front of you and you can move the box to try and get it to the points that you want, all right? So we're gonna see um, if our marble can actually make it down here. So what I found is that my straws are too thin. They are not going to be able to hold my marble if I do this vertically. So I have this laying on the table and I'm going to try to guide my marble through the maze by simply moving the box. So let's see what happens. There he goes, going down the slope. Ooh. Another slope. Oh, he went fully across. So let's get him back. And come on, almost there. Get him to the end. There we go. 
So that's just a fun little thing that you can do at home using some things you have in the house. Again, any type of cardboard box, some straws, paper or plastic. If you have thicker ones, you'll be able to do it upright. You could also cut out more cardboard um, and put that in the place of the straws if you have lots of cardboard at home. Some bottle caps make it fun and you can use a marble, you could use a Cheerio, you could use um, a pom-pom, whatever you have lying around. Um, just try and make it a little fun maze for you to do and you can add things into it see what makes your um, item go faster or slower uh, just try things out and that's it for today hopefully you guys join us next time when we do another maker monday